Sophie-san, Dad needs to choose a brush. Okay, you smell? Okay, not that one. Okay, not that one. Okay, next brush. Oh, we got a winner! Craving shavings brush, guys. Let's do the shave. Guys, welcome back to another Sumi Shaves video with me. And guys, today, not only did Sophie-san choose a beautiful brush, we're going to be using the Gem Push Button Razor of the late 50s, early 60s, guys. This is one of those razors that kind of ended the Gem uh, production line, right? It's one of the last models they ever produced next to the Contour, and I'm really excited to be using this and to be putting my own flair on it, right? I'm not here to change wet shaving, right? That's not what I'm here to do. But I just want to put my little thumbprint into the mold. And guys, I'm telling you, we're going to be super shaving with this razor. And by the end of this video, I promise, I have an easy, ultra-fast hack and workaround for this razor for any of you guys that are having problems accessing gem blades or maybe aren't getting the best shaves with your gem blades and want to try something different. Guys, stick around. I'm telling you, it's going to be fire. It's going to be money. Subi has done it again. I am proud of myself on this one, guys. This really is an awesome, easy, no-brain uh, kind of workaround. It takes no effort, and anybody can do it, as long as you have one of these gem push-button razors, guys. Again, this is a razor from the late 50s, early 60s, and one of the last gems. So we're going to say adieu to gem razors today, and we're going to do it. We're going to send them off with a, you know, a firing squad and a, and a huge applause because I am super thrilled about how this shaved, at least how it shaved my leg. All right. So you guys saw, Sophie saw, and she chose the Craving Shaving Brush today, guys. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is from Charles. He is a, a brush maker out of Utah. And I really think this brush is a beautiful hybrid. He doesn't do hybrids very often, from what he told me. And this was actually a custom brush that he did for my wife. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful with the, the different uh, swirls in there. And the wood's beautiful. Today, we lathered up already, and we lathered up some of A&E's Lucent Skeletar. Guys, this was a commission soap for BBS Live. And I'm telling you, it is a scent that is absolutely out of this world. I don't care, Peter, if you're not going to continue making the soap for the channel or the for the BBS Live. Make it in general. It is beautiful, guys. It's green. It's very, it's like a, on a scent strength, it's like a 6 out of 10. It still has a very nice scent. And it smells a lot like cucumber, guys. It has this green cucumber essence to it that really makes it smell fresh, clean. It makes me feel like I'm going to the like the the spa, right? You get that spa s flavor and smell as you're uh, opening it and smelling it. It's just absolutely beautiful, and it's very, um, in my opinion, it's very basic. But at the same time, that basicness lends itself to being an awesome smelling soap. I think this is great. I love being able to have just more of a baseline soap that smells good. I think this is a great baseline for anything you want to wear on top of it. And today we're going to be using the Low Scent Skeletar on top of that. This is, uh, again, from Annie. And again, very, very much cucumber forward. Just smells a lot like going to the spa to me. Absolutely beautiful scent. And this was a commission soap for BBS Live that um, Peter did. And absolutely killed. I, I love this scent, guys. Love this scent, and it's in K2. So you know how that's gonna, it's just gonna be awesome lather all day long. Oh, so good. Um, and then I got asked by uh, GamerVit about if I ever use Parasso, guys. And I don't know, I've, I've done it on a couple of my videos. This is the Parasso shaving cream. I like to use this shaving cream, guys. You can see a lot of it's gone for uh, pre-shave, especially on my head, on my neck, where I have really sensitive skin. So we're going to do that today. We're going to use the Parasso pre-shave cream. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's get excited. And before we do that, holy shout out, guys, 271, 271. And I couldn't do it without everybody here, you know, putting in the effort and joining me on these videos and talking about the videos and not only talking about it, how about going out and doing some of these videos? You, some of you guys I'm seeing like on, on Shave of the Day posts using DE blades and gems, using DE blades and injectors. Um, you're just going wild. 
And I can't even tell you how much I appreciate the support and the feedback. And honestly, I'm getting people that have reached out and said, well, shout out to, shout out, shout out to Subi Shaves. I double stacked the thorn and it was fantastic. I'm getting that kind of uh, feedback and that's awesome, guys. I'm so glad to hear you're getting good shaves and that you're doing it, you know, maybe a little bit outside the box, not just loading up a blade and going. It's just, it's about figuring out what's going to work for your skin, right? If you're using a DE every day, why not try something a little different? You can always change it back and see if it works better for your skin, right? I find it works really good for my skin and that's why I like to share these things here. And that's why I'm so excited about this one, guys. I'm so excited. Um, the gem push button was one of the last ones I was missing. This was one of the razors in the gem line that I was searching for, especially one that looked like it was in good condition. And lo and behold, my buddy Scott, he had one laying around, he sent me one. It was in one of his packages to me. And so Scott, actually Scott Shapes actually donated this to my uh, to my video arsenal. And he was like, let's see what you can do. So I'm really excited guys. And the first thing I'm gonna show you guys today is the blades we're using. Cause I'm gonna try two different blades. I, I My buddy Charles sent me some derbies. He sent my wife some derbies. These are the extras. These are a mild blade, usually for me. They're very mild, very efficient, uh, pretty uh, cost efficient. Not efficient as far as cutting power, but it's very efficient for my wallet, right? It's a more, they're more mild and they're, they're a little less expensive. So I have one pre-made guys. All I did was remove the wings on this Derby extra razor. That's all I did is chop the wings off, but maybe that may not work. I don't know. I know this gem push button is a very mild shaver guys. So what we're going to do is I grabbed persona lab blues. Okay. These are made in the USA. These are stamped. These are expensive and they are very, very, very sharp and very efficient. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors, my super skizzes. And what we're going to do, guys, just follow with me if you want to try this. I'm going to take my skizzes and I'm going to trim the blade wings, the tabs, the side corners, whatever you want to call these things. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut them down by about 30%. Do it down here so I don't lose a limb doing said things. And there you go. Two seconds. Two seconds of effort. Okay, you guys with me? That's all I did. You don't have to remove a ton of material to do it. Just a little bit. And then your blade is going to develop a natural curve. I like to just come in and kind of add a little bit more curve to it. See how that gives my blade just a little bit of bend. We just want a little bit of bend. It's going to make it easier for the razor to load it if it has just a little bit of bend to it. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do a shape. That's it. The blades are done, built, hacked, finished. What I did on top of that, guys, is I went in and look how cool this is. Look how cool this is. You take your finger and you push the button. Boink! And you push the button back in and it's double spring loaded. I didn't under, I didn't realize that. Guys, these are spring loaded. And when you push it in, right, it closes like tight. And then when you open it, it really opens. I mean, it pops open, guys. And you can see the cap on this razor comes down to a pretty good point. I mean, it's got a great angle to it. It's definitely, it shows that more like Micromatic, like Feather, the G-Bar, all those started getting those really extreme angles where you don't actually shave a ton up here. You just kind of ride the safety bar, right? That's It's just a different angle. And that very much shows that's different angle. But what we've done, okay, because this is a more mild shaver, according to how it felt yesterday, is I went in and I added some safety tape, guys. This is just some painter's tape, some green frog tape. And I like doing it this way because it allows me to shim the razor effectively without the shim ever moving, right? If you use tape like this, it just stays right there. And even if it gets really wet or whatever, it stays right in place. And I like doing it this way, guys. This, for me, is a good way to shim a gem razor. So if you're doing this and you're like, oh, I'd like a little more efficiency, right? I mean, you can maybe load it without the tape. You can always add the tape later. Try it again. I'm telling you, I like it with the shim. And we're going to be shimming. Again, we're going to start with the... Derby extras, guys. And I'm pretty sure these Derby extras are going to be more than fine. But I did want to get the other blades made just in case. And it lets you guys see kind of what we're working with. Again, this is what we're... Oh, pops off. It's it's definitely got a little bit of a... Um, it, the blade fits, but it, it's it's got to be in there right. There we go. It's just kind of... You guys see that? It's got to be right against those tabs. And those little tabs don't have a lot of, of room to grab. So... Make sure you're nice and on there, nice and easy. You guys see all this? Blade fits right in there. You guys saw all I had to do was trim those things, the tabs, and the cap will close right over them. And what we're gonna do now is just take our button, make sure everything lines up. That's it. 
That's it, guys. Sorry. It's having a hard time focusing today. Like me. Like me, apparently. Oh, we got a, we got a little bit of bend on this one today. And that is totally fine, guys. Totally fine. We just want to make sure. it's it's If you don't get your uh, blade perfectly centered, this can happen. Okay, there we go. And it's good. I do this on camera with you guys to show you guys what I'm doing and how easy and how um, the steps that I have to kind of go through to make it work. Okay. Also could be some of the tape. There we go. You see, apologize for that. Yeah, it just it just closed a little. I didn't have it completely centered on those blade bars. So you want to make sure it's centered on the blade bars. That's really the trick here. Um, close nice and tight for me, guys. Yeah, this is looking great. Looks it just looks fantastic. Oh, super excited again. These are the Derby extras. Let's get a shave on. And you want to just double check. That's why I wanted to do it on camera yesterday. It loaded perfectly in my first clip. But you want to make sure when you close that, that the blade is laying flat. That is really the trick. Again, this is the Parasso cream, guys. Just a little bit of the Parasso shaving cream. And I'm just going to take my hand with a little bit of water on it with the shaving cream as a um, pre-shave. I just like it as a pre-shave. It guarantees me coverage, and I like it. You do not have to do this. I, I don't even know anybody else that does this with the Parasso shaving cream. I just like it. It's one of the ones that I really enjoy. And I like how it adds something to the scent. And, oh... Speaking of adding to the scent, guys, beautiful. And look at the K2. Just look. Oh, my goodness. What good stuff, man. What? Look at this. Look at this. Look at how hydrated and how happy. Oh, my goodness. It's just easy mode. That's so much easy mode. And it smells so good. It smells just cucumbery. Oh, it smells great. And, guys, we're shaving with this with a DE blade. With no mods, with no hacks, with no, just trim the blade a little bit, right? And most people trim those anyway when you are using a DE blade. So it's really not even that much different than using an old vintage DE blade. Okay, let's get in here and see how it shows. You can hear a little bit of feedback, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's great. I didn't think we'd need uh, other sharper blades, but got them out anyway. Again, the angle is different than your general 1912, right? It has that more uh, 1924 shovel head angle where you're kind of shaving on the safety bar versus the head cap. Very easy to find angle, guys. Very easy to find angle. It's fairly mild. I would say there's not a ton of blade fill to it. There is a little bit, but not terrible. It's manageable. And there you go. Beard lines are trimmed up. And we did it with the gem push button with the uh, Derby Extract Extra DE. That's just the Derby Extra DE, guys. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's switch it up. I'm going to actually switch it up, guys. I'm going to switch it up because we have the blade. We might as well, right? So we're just going to pop it open. And I'm going to show you how easy, again, this is. This is... With those shims in place, see how that even when they're wet, the frog tape doesn't come up, which is part of the reason I like I like using frog tape. Again, you just want to make sure your blade, I think my blade didn't have enough bend to it on that derby. And so you want to just make sure that blade, that concave blade is concave the right way up into the cap. Make sure that you're, uh, right, that the bend is into the cap and not into the base plate. And you want it sitting flush. That is really the trick to all of this. And I'm doing it with wet hands, guys. If I can do it with wet hands, I promise you it's not that hard. There it is, loaded with the personas. Take your button. And close it up. And let's make sure we don't have any weird wackiness going on. What do you guys know? There you guys go. So easy mode, two times in a row, two different blades. We swapped blades while we were, our hands were wet. So you know it's not that hard to do. Like I said, that was, the, that was one time just... You had it, today just had to give me grief. Had to give me grief on my first attempt. Wouldn't be a Subi Shaves video if it all went perfectly without any kind of efforts. So 
Right there is a gem push button, guys, using a DE razor with no work, right? No extra effort than you would already go to to remove blade taps. And all we do is just load one side and it turns our DE blade into an SE. Guys, we just made an SC slash D or a DE slash S, whatever you want to call it, guys. Works. Works great and it works without any problems and it's safe to use. And I wanted to show this because there's a lot of people out there that are hesitant, you know, when you're out shopping, walking around. Maybe you're just out hanging out and you go to an antique store, see one, and you're like, oh man, but I don't, don't want to source a, another blade type. And that's totally fine. We're just making it so you guys don't have to source another blade type. You can just use your DE blades if you want and still get a great shave with a very awesome vintage razor, right? Very awesome vintage piece of uh, history. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Freaking phenomenal. All right, this was with the very sharp um, Persona uh, Lab Blue uh, U USA Blades. I probably prefer the slightly more aggressive blade compared to the extra. Um, this feels just a little bit more efficient. And it feels like it grabs just a little bit better. Very comfortable. You know when you've used your, uh, uh, if, for all you guys that use gems, you know when you use your gem like three times and it's like finally settling in? That's how this feels. It feels like it's finally settling in. Oh, beautiful. That's what a lot of guys will tell you. You gotta, you know, um, actually cork your gem blades and stuff to try to get them through that first initial uh, phase. Or they're a little rougher. And this, guys, is just amazing. Absolutely. One of the razors I would highly recommend trying to get your hands on because they're affordable. They shave amazing. I think that shaves up there with anything else. And as far as smoothness goes, guys, it is a smooth, smooth shaver. I, I, I don't know. I think it's an awesome, absolutely fantastic piece of history. Um, it is one of the last gems to be produced, and you can find them. They were made for enough years where they're accessible. There's a lot of them for sale. They usually go for like five, ten bucks. You'll see an occasional oddity where they're asking thirty, and I just don't understand. Maybe those people are expecting you know someone else to just jump on it and buy it because they don't know better, or I don't really know. But usually the the goal is I try for five bucks. Five bucks is the goal. When I'm searching and I, I see these often go for $5. So uh, absolutely fantastic shaver. Sh just a beautiful shaver. And it can use DE blades, guys. We just, you saw me, I just loaded two different DE blades with only cutting the taps. Takes two seconds and you have yourself an SC slash D, a Subi Shaves gem, right? A Subi Shaves gem. And I will mention, guys, that this is not how it was designed. I did get a lot of flack when I was first doing this. The first time I showed how to do this with a gem, I was actually uh, removed from several other uh, different uh, posts. I, I, I had some. I had a community that did not like it. So please take that in mind, right? This is not for everyone. And I'm not saying this is the only way and I'm not saying it replaces the gem blade. I'm just saying this is another option, right? That's why I'm doing it, just another option. And we're just going to keep the lab blues in there because they're feeling great. And I love using gem razors, guys, on my head because they lend themselves to such an easy shave. Right? The gem razor was the first vintage I ever bought. It was a featherweight. And it just broke me because it was so easy to use, it was so consistent. And it really worked every single shave um, uh, extremely well. It was just a no thought kind of situation, very much similar to my twig or my leaf. And I just fell in love with that no thought type shave. And this gem button is it's just reminiscent of that. Just exactly why I started using gems. And we're gonna change the angle a little bit and go a little more aggressive. I am BBS, guys. I am super smooth. There you go. Absolutely phenomenal shave with the push button. 
using med prep razors, guys. These are the are not the med preps. These, oh yeah, they are. These are the Lab Blue med prep Persona razor blades. Made in America, America, the America blades. And we are smooth. We don't have a nick. We don't have a ding. It is safe, guys. It is effective. It is efficient, and it is very comfortable. There you go. Another gem in the books. We did it. We just proved that you can use a DE blade and yet another gem. And with no effort, guys. No effort. Fantastic razor. And one that you should absolutely consider grabbing if you ever had the opportunity. What a cool razor from the late 50s, early 60s, guys. Fantastic shave today. With a great soap and an even better, even better um, blade, right? Just a... a Overall, guys, this couldn't get better. This just could not get better for me. Could not. Okay, it did. All right, it did. Oh, I love that scent. Oh. You know, sometimes some of these artisans, they go wild. They go crazy. They add everything in the bucket to their soaps. And you're like, whoa, I smell the whole world in that one. So this soap smells like Paris, right? You open it up, you're like, why? Why does it? Why do you have to add them all? This is just so simple and so nice. And it has good, good stopping power. Like it's like a six. It's not abrasive, but it definitely lets you know that you've uh, been to the spa and you, you're pampering yourself. Fantastic soap. Excellent splash. Peter, fantastic job, dude. I couldn't have chosen a better soap today to use on a push button hack day. Thank you guys so much for being here for it. You guys rock. We'll be in touch. More stuff to come, I promise. More stuff to come. You guys rock. We'll... Good luck. Have awesome Tuesdays. Bye, guys.